goal is to finish inside the top two. The reward is a straight path into the semi-finals. All that, though, may take a step back today as two of the most successful teams and frontrunners for one and two positions will go head-to-head -head in a matchup that not only puts the undefeated streak of the All Flakes on the line, but also the record of a team that just lost theirs a couple of rounds ago in the Flakers. It is all to play for with just one round to go until those quarterfinal matchups. What is going on everyone? Hope you're all doing well and welcome back along to your home of rugby and the Global Rugby Challenge, otherwise known as the Subscriber Series. This of course is the series where you guys take the field against the world's elite and more often than not this season against each other as well. Just like this, a massive big subscriber clash to cash in with round number eight. The All Flakes in first position, the Flakers in third. They have been passed by the Guardians who have already played this round by a couple of points. So they'll be hoping to be able to leapfrog back into those top two spots. These two sides, they don't lose often. Just one loss and that is by the Flakers between these two teams when they lost to the Guardians a couple of rounds ago. Other than that, the All Flakes undefeated and that is why they sit top of the table. Both sides had good wins last round, but it was the Flakers who struggled their way against the Crusaders, whereas the All Flakes put down a good pile of points and a close fought win against the Bolters. Of course, two team, teams being named by their captains today. We've got Sandre Lambrex, we've got Craig Anderson in the selection boxes, and we are ready for a huge hit out here in Eden Park. So let's take a look at the lineups for tonight, and of course, get ready for the action. Let's kick things off for the All Flakes at home tonight for this round eight clash. And Shady Streetwalker will be the one to don the number one jumper. And his hooker for tonight will be Kyle Van Demart. In at tight head will be Dill the Thrill for moving into the second row with Andrew Smith. And there it is, the captain, Sandre Lambrex. The back row is solid and consistent with Humad Cleef, Sam Fenwick, and JC White, who is number eight. Christian Nord makes his way into the back line, starting at scrum half and partnering up with Hinko Fayard in the number 10 jumper. Emmanuel Levici and Scott Andrew will wear 12 and 13, with the impressive Adrian Townsend on the left wing once again. On the right, Nathaniel Edwards and Caleb Keynes comes in to complete the 15. On the side of the Flakers, who will be looking to move back up the table where they've sat most of the season, it will be Hugo Lambrex wearing number one. The Battle of the Brothers is in full effect. Speaking of brothers, it's Lucas Brett who will wear number two, and Oscar Chakwara who will be at tight end. Ethan Holton and Craig Anderson, the captain, wear four and five. With a back row, we'll see Chris Darrinson alongside Francois Valentine, and then Alpha Laltani will be the big man at the back of the pack. Moving through, another big battle here. The Demarts. Yes, there's another one. It's Kyle Demar this time. No van in this man's name, but he starts at number nine, returning from injury and ready to make an impact. Alongside him will be Baran Ankahan in 10 for moving to the midfield with the impressive Eddie Sanchez alongside Jacob Capone. On the wings, you can't go past these guys. Valentino Josiah on the left-hand side. Botti Mandia on the right. And, of course, Joshua Barrett at fullback for the Flakers. Both sides got plenty of ability on the bench as well. But it is the All Flakes who have been struggling along with injuries lately in the last couple of rounds. Just one player outside the 23 available for selection. So a number of players out with some big injuries this late part of the season, as one may expect as well. But sitting on the bench here for the All Flakes will be Hartley, Dion, Cooper, Dixon, Wright, Kalen, Lynx, and Mumberg. For the Flakers, Bobs, Matthews, Samuel, Johnson, Smith, Martinzi, Johansson and Valentine ready to make an impact if and when they will be called upon this evening. To launch the game into action will be the Flakers. They're playing in the purple kits tonight. The All Flakes will be receiving in the white and blue on halfway. Here we go. Banan Ekhan kicks this off. And Hamad Rikalik takes the ball in. Good start. Very short one there from the Flakers, but the All Flakes will... Look to put the pressure out here to the left-hand side. He goes fire. Drops one in short and leaves it nicely for a weak pick up there from Christian. Nord loses the ball. Big turnover play. Now Sars. Flake is going early to the left-hand side. Capone. Ball over through one. Goes inside. Permission to look to the left side. Can't get away here. Chakwara takes it into contact. 
on the 22. Panero nice and early here for the Flakers and early position as well in the attacking zone. Waiting for it now, DeMart. We grab a kick in behind from DeMart. It's regathered nicely for the All Flakes. And to the left-hand side, they go for Townsend to drill this into touch. Early mistake, early recovery. And no damage done for the undefeated All Flakes side who put themselves under a bit of early pressure here inside their home stadium. And to throw this one, Lucas Barrett. Just inside the All Flakes half still. They go to the back, nicely done there. Flakers look to shoulder their way through. Timmy Line, Chuck Wada with another carry. Short side. Nicely from Vandermark. Getting to Lamb. Breaks the ball around the corner. Brilliant in Valentine. Can't get away from the cover defense. And a solid tackle around the brute laces. Takes him swiftly into touch. Well, early advantage here to the Flakers, but it is the All Flakes who are holding on tight at the moment. Here's Vandermart. Oh, he's throwing that away. Anderson drags it in. And now the Flakers with their third opportunity now inside the All Flakes half. Early position here, an early chance to put points on the board as they soldier through with Eddie Sanchez. Ball comes back. Demart, little left side look, he goes. Opens it up once more. Nice little around the corner there from Valentine and Capone. Inside pass for Barrett. Just short of the 22. Demart again. Changes with a direction of way at the end of the Well, Brand breaks is away now. He's got support at all. Holton and Ethan Holton can't dot down into touch. He goes. And a lot of ball going here through Connor DeMart, number nine. And now it will be Kyle Vandermart to throw in. Goes to the back. Just threw it quickly out and running hard to the line there on Fendiel Edwards. But he fires away to Hinko Fayart, who looks deep down. To Barrett. Joshua Barrett goes short to Capone. Holds it up nicely there to Jay Capone. Flakers tried to eke out the meters, but the referee forced them to play it out. And Eddie Sanchez spots no one home at the back. And a very good kick from Eddie Sanchez. Shrills that one. Just a whisker inside the 22 of the All Flakes. And a game that is dominated territorially here by the Flakers so far. Sees neither side on the scoreboard. After a very quick 20 minutes of this match, back it goes. It's Andre Lambrex pulls it in. Now Nord, who's playing nine, feeds it through his back line and finds the go man out wide. And Nathaniel Edwards, now it's a clean one. Evan Edwards coming across as Joshua Brent. Great tackle. Two men coming in. And it's a touch. Goes Nathaniel Edwards. Looked up, saw acres of space. But the cover defense, very good from the Flakers. Now they'll throw in Barrett. This is Lucas this time to Anderson, the captain at the back. Sets it up right on the halfway line. Numbers in there for the Flakers. Don't get it away. DeMart will turn it again. He spots no one at the back. Not directed. Like we saw from Sanchez, but it'll set up for Caleb Kent. And he hits it back outside of his 22. Barrett takes it in, finds his brother. And now they look through Capone. All inside ball, a jump goal from Bernard Ankahan. Delivers some early points. After a long period of domination, finally something to celebrate for the Flakers. Well, a very incredible play. The cameras couldn't even keep up that one from Ankerhan. Short ball from Capone. Ankerhan went straight through and then just squits it straight over the top. Absolute disregard for looking for the try. But it's the Flakers up three points to nil. And the way they're playing is Ankerhan again. Good back them to get back in a good position as Sanchez drills us long. Was that taken back? No is the call. Assistant referee says that is a good kick to touch and will take play up over halfway for the Flakers. And leave the All Flakes again to force their way out of their own half. To the back they go. Sandro Lambrex. Nicely in there, Nord. Drops it short to Fayard who again tries to pin the Flakers back. That is a very good kick from Eco Fayard. Delivering some pinpoint accuracy there and putting the pressure all now back on the Flakers to escape their 22. Neither side wanting to make an error as Lucas Barrett will throw. Three man line out, just taken from Holton. And now DeMarc goes away to Ankar who drops a little short kick over the top, but it's fielded nicely from Edwards. And he gives it back to a shot of goal. Another one from Caleb Kent. That one's short. Pulled in from Botti Mandir who smokes this one. It's a touch. 
And it's all about damage control at the moment. Neither side giving an inch, but throwing the kitchen sink at the other's defense. And holding tight at the moment with no tries. Both teams valuing. Keeping that together. Well, that's a good take in the back there from Anderson. Stealing the ball away. And this will give an exit for the Flakers. They maul upfield over the 10. Easy doing it at the moment. Here's DeMarge. And again, no one back. Caleb Cairns up in the line. And DeMarge just trolls this over his head. It's going to go dead and go. Oh, it could be too far. It is too far from Connor DeMarge. And a mistake from the number nine. That will prove very costly for the Flakers. Crouch, bind. Unsurprisingly, the ball goes Six. all the way back to where he kicked it from. Oh, the flank is drill the scrum. Big turnover at Zepi's side. DeMarc goes away to Ankar, drops it in short to Sanchez. Around the corner, back to Ankar Hanu. Left play behind, he smokes it at the touch. No care whatsoever. Whether that was out in the full or not, he knew the buzzer had gone. He sends the two teams to half time with a real stalemate fixture. Three points to nil. Yeah, that's right. We're not playing football. There's not a round ball out there. Certainly is Oval. And it certainly is the Flakers who are leading this one by a drop goal to Brennan Ankahan. Four line breaks to one, though. Tells a bit of a tale. Flakers dominant, but not on the scoreboard. They want to change that in the second 40. Speaking of second 40s, how quickly it has arrived. Here is Hinko Fayart. Getting his back underway. Nicely taken in there from Lucas Barrett. And straight away, we see Connor DeMart. This side holding on a beautiful ball away to Valentino Josiah. He's got one man to beat. It's great work from Kent. Offloads perfectly to Darrinson. And the Flakers from the front foot very quickly, very early. Ears are ringing from the halftime. Speaks and straight through Eddie Sanchez. Roman numbers to his right. He can't find the support. Not quite right there. Lamprex will go. Short side takes on the first defender. Goes down in a heap. Here is DeMart again. He goes off to Capone, who's been very strong in the tackle tonight. Quick ball up. Darrinson to the left. DeMart gets through one. Pops it back to Darrinson. And he goes sideways, but a meter or two gained. Just a whisker by the Flakers. Here is Valentine. Around the corner to Ankerhard, who's held up in the tackle. He's got plenty of support there as well. Big numbers in the mall for the Flakers. The ball scrats out. DeMart. Oh, just look for that offload there. Down the short side. Josiah was there as well. Couldn't quite find him. Here's Chakwara once more. Again in the 22. Not able to turn it to points so far. The Flakers. Darrinson goes deep. Oh, monster of a hit. Huge from Streetwalker. Still there with the Flakers are. The numbers out wide. Finally up in a win. And Bonte Mandir. He'll get the try. And we've been waiting some time. Bonte Mandir. He is the prolific try scorer for the Flakers. And he will not be denied when finally a bit of wit comes his way. Well, give that all up to some great absorbing attack and relentless phases from the Flakers. And they finally do it out wide. Botsy Mandir always keeps his width. And when you want to go wide, you've sucked in the defenders. He's going to deliver you a very, very simple finish. The drop goal finally has a friend. And it goes by the name of a five-pointer to Botsy Mandir and a conversion to the drop goaler. It is Bernard Ankhard to make it 10 points to nil. Flakers finally putting that domination into points as the All Flakes have failed to even fire a shot yet in this match. And we are ticking our way towards the hour mark. We've hardly seen the All Flakes with the ball, let alone on attack. Here is Jacob Pope. Got the ball and got a defender right in his face. Good rib tickler as well. As here is Demand. Going alone, a little short side scamper from the number nine. And the All Flakes, here we go. A bit of a chance now, they'll turn it over. Now they look for options. Away to the right hand side. Edwards getting a pass when he goes Fayard. Fayard takes it to ground. Plenty of playmakers in this back line as well. They want to use them. They'll pop it up. Nord. Straight pass. And they'll be in there. Townsend surely goes alone. One more phone. Numbers are everywhere. But it finally goes to ground there. Flambrex can't deliver the try. Nord. Perfect. There it is. Henko Fayard. Massive difference. Probably only four or five phases from the All Flakes. 
where we've seen about 50 minutes of the Frankers on attack. And just like that, they deliver a big blow back in their favour. Good hands through this passage, keeping the ball alive, not letting it die. But that there, perfect. Outstanding from Christian Nord. Taking the defender, freeing the ball up. And Hinko Fayart just goes straight through the middle. Adrian Townsend will be on the team tonight for the All Flags. Amazingly, we've almost gone through an hour of play. And we've hardly mentioned Townsend's name, but there he is. Easy extra two for the left winger. And Nathaniel Edwards has been prolific tonight already for the All Flakes. We've just not seen enough from the rest of those players. Back underway we go. All Flakes hardly seen the ball so far tonight. As there is Van der Maart getting the ball and offloading in contact as well. Very good. The thrill will play nine. Gives it to the right side. Fenwick starts it all off. If we're going back to fire Not releasing. Oh, penalty to the Flakers. Massive, massive call. And Hinko Fayard, hero to villain, try scorer. Penalty conceder in the 22. The decision will be three points off the tee. No surprise here from Craig Anderson. He knows this is a test match of sorts. Here's a shot from Ankerhan. Sharp shooter from Seasons and Seasons. And today, he delivers another three. He's got a good tally of eight points so far of the 13. And he is becoming very, very crucial to this team's success. Hinko Fayart will be happy. At least there's not another five or seven. And the lead is up to six points. Escapone takes it in. Haven't seen much of the opposition midfielder. It's got Andrew and Emmanuel Lemisi tonight at all. As DeMart goes alone once more. The All Flakes try and compete. Laltani with a rare touch there, the number eight. Getting off to Capone. Here's Chakwara. That's a good ball from Chakwara. Out to DeMart now. He's got options left and right. Can he pick the right one? He does. It's Ponty Man there. He will be stopped. Incredible tackle there from nowhere. Can Christian Nord. But again, defensively, a bit unnumbered, a bit unstructured, good defense. Managing to scramble their way at the moment are the All Flakes. Darrenson has a crack. It's all the visitors at the moment. Now they give it a bit of it. Sanchez, through the midfield, Capone will chip in behind. In the chase is Joshua Barrett, who's up in the line. Covering back there, there is someone for the Flakers. Luckily for them, Barrett scrambling to get back now. Is a little bit less side room here for the All Flakes. And Townsend is the man to pull that in. Now they look through Fenwick. Tries to make a couple of meters. Nord getting out to Townsend again. Little inside ball and another good run from Fenwick. Getting them just there, 22. Surely they're gonna kick this away here. Through the midfield, Scott Andrew, rare touch from him. Yes, that's a turnover. Oh, massive. Left side numbers, two on two. Inside though, looking for Holton. Can't get away. Josiah, so elusive, but knew the right call was to go back to support. DeMard goes to Holton. Ethan Holton on the 22. This could be a massive play right now. Darrenson. Oh, this side, beautiful. And it's going to be Josiah. One on one in the back. One on throw. What a pass. Delivered with absolute ease to Eddie Sanchez. And the Flakers put it out to 11. Kick to come. Well, that was perfectly executed. DeMard went in. He gave it to Holton, who got monstered by Fayard. But this ball here, nice from Darrenson. And Valentino Josiah up against the fullback, Caleb Kins. But just drew and passed and delivered what could be a very telling blow in this fixture. Ankhan on the tee. And of course, at 18 points to seven, he'll want to make that a 13 point lead. They would love another penalty as well because 21, 20 to 7 is less than two converted tries. So, of course, remember that. If the All Flakes do storm back late in this one, how long we got left? Well, we're done. We've got 30 seconds to go. My word, that went flying by. Flakers will seal it with that try. And all that the All Flakes can hope for is possibly a bonus point if they can get the ball and score a try. No way! Says Bernard Ankerhan. He drills it into touch, and it is a comprehensive 13 point win for the Flakers. Wow, that second half flew by. Monster performance, and the winning streak of the All Flakes is done.
put it in the bin, send it off to the dump. This one is over. The Frankers have come back and defied the winning streak of the All Flags, and they will take the four-pointer back home with them. Only two tries to one, not a massive scorer, but just comprehensive from the Flakers. Thigh out scored the try, Townsend the conversion. But for the Flakers, man, Darren Sanchez won a piece. Ankerhan, four kicks, two conversions, a penalty goal, and a drop goal. What a performance from Bernard Ankerhan. Well, the Flakers dominate this game, didn't they? There's no other way you can describe it. They're all over possession, all over territory. They dominated most of this game inside. The All Flakes half, let alone inside their 22. Should have scored more, and the tackle count tells that tale. Considering the All Flakes did pretty well to keep them out for that most part. But when you're really doubling the tackle count, it makes it extremely hard to put anything away on your side. So with that, the All Flakes have now joined everyone else, effectively, to have lost a game. The only team without a win now sits at Munster. So let's check out the table and see where these teams sit with that win and the eighth game for the top three sides. Still plenty of time for the Toa and the Dragons to have their say and possibly climb up that leaderboard as well. But for the Flakers, they go back to the top of the table. Four bonus points is what does it for them. Now, of course, with that extra bonus point, they go above the team that they just defeated. That, of course, the All Flakes, who now have just 31 and three bonus points, not enough to keep the top of the table. Guardians, Toa, and Dragons sit three, four, and five. So with that, we can see that half of round eight is complete. So if we shimmy our way through to the fixes list for the remainder of round number eight, and of course the final round, which is round number nine, we can see the Dragons will take on Saracens, and the Toa will battle it out with the Bolters. Round nine looks exciting as well. We've got a big battle between the Toa and the Flakers. Can they go two from two? to end this season. Well, we'll have to find out in a few games' time. Guardians will kick it off versus Toulouse. All Flakes Crusaders. Munster Saracens a chance for that first win. And the Dragons v Bolters will wrap up the regular season. Well, very interesting matchup. One that just seemed to fly on by as the Flakers just dominated all aspects of the game. All Flakes, though, not given enough chances, not given enough territory, and they suffered as a result. Next up, though, with Dragons v Saracens. Hope to see you all there for that one. Until then, Thank you all for watching so much. Hope you're enjoying the series. And I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.